हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस ऑन टिप्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस्ड इन सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्स सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन सो वॉट इज एक्स सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन सो कंजर्वेशन ऑफ जर्म प्लाजम अवे फ्रॉम इट्स नेचुरल हैबिटेट इज कॉल्ड एक्स सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन सो दिस इज एग्जैक्टली ओपोजिट टू द इन सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन इन इन सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ जर्म प्लाजम वॉज इन इट्स नेचुरल हैबिटेट वेयर इट वॉज ग्रोइंग नेचुरली बट एक्स सीतु जर्म प्लाजम कंजर्वेशन इज अवे फ्रॉम द नेचुरल हैबिटेट and it is basically conserved in the artificial conditions so this includes seed gene banks plant or field gene banks shoot tip gene banks cell and organ gene banks and dna gene banks now we are going to discuss each gene bank one by one so first seed gene banks so basically in seed gene banks the germ plasm is stored as seeds so germ plasm accessions are stored as seeds so why we are storing the germ plasm accessions as seeds because seed conservation is quite easy it is very easy it is relatively safer and it is also need a minimum space means we can easily store it in uh, containers tin plastic glass containers and these can we store for a very longer period of time even up to 50 to 100 years so seeds are basically of two types orthodox seeds and recalcitrant seeds so some of the plant species are producing orthodox seeds and some of the plant species are producing recalcitrant seeds orthodox seeds are basically desiccation tolerant they can be dried to a moisture content of 5% or lower without lowering their viability means they do not lose their viability if we can if we reduces their moisture content below 5% and the storage duration of the orthodox species varies the storage period is longest because they are produced basically from cereals legumes some grasses and many vegetables but on the other hand recalcitrant seeds these are desiccation sensitive means their viability drops uh, if their moisture content is reduced below 12 to 30 percent they loses their viability if the moisture content is reduced so example seeds of many forest and fruit trees like citrus cocoa coffee rubber these all produce recalcitrant seeds means these are difficult to store as compared to the orthodox seeds orthodox seeds are easy to store next is seed bank collections so inside the seed banks there are several collections such as base collections active collections working collections so in the base collections here the germ plasm accessions are stored at minus 20 degrees celsius with 5 percent moisture level so whatever seed accessions are stored here they are stored at the temperature of minus 20 degree celsius and their moisture level is 5 percent and these are not disturbed at all these are only disturbed at the time of regeneration regeneration is done after after 5 to 10 years if the germination percentage falls below 95 percent then only the regeneration is done otherwise the regeneration is not done and these are not disturbed but active collections so in the active collections the germplasm accessions are basically stored between 10 degrees celsius to 0 degrees celsius with 5 percent moisture level okay so these are stored for about 10 to 15 years even up to 30 years means these are stored for a medium duration right and these are used for evaluation regeneration research purposes multiplication purpose and distribution of the accessions when needed on the other hand if we talk about the working collections here the germplasm accessions are stored less than 15 degrees celsius with 10 percent moisture level and these are also known as breeders collection and these are actively used in the crop improvement programs for the for making new hybrids for making new researches together for doing the new things the working collections are used extensively next is a field gene bank so field gene bank is basically a field or it may be occurred 
right so in which the accessions of the fruit trees or vegetatively propagated crops are grown so field gene banks are basically made for those crop species which do not produce seed or produce recalcitrant seeds right for those the field gene banks are made but there are various limitations in the field gene banks such as these requires a larger area these are very expensive to establish because it requires a lot of money for seedlings for all the management practices uh, there are the chances of disease and insect attacks so natural disasters they also cause a losses to our field next is the human errors in handling so these are the lot of limitations in the field gene banks next is shoot tip gene banks so in the shoot tip gene banks the germplasm accessions are conserved as a slow growth cultures of shoot tips means the shoot tips are conserved in a slow growth cultures like you know about the micro propagation so same thing theek okay? hai next it has many benefits such as genotypes can be conserved free from diseases and insect pests there are no chances of insect pest or disease attack because these are basically stored or conserved in the lab next is these can be used for those crop species which do not produce any seed or if the seed is produced then that seed is recalcitrant so it becomes difficult to store and manage the recalcitrant seed so for those it is very beneficial next is subculturing becomes necessary only after relatively long periods means subculturing is required after about 6 to 36 months so it is a very long period after that the subculturing is done so and the time of subculturing is also very very short next is cell and organ gene banks so in the cell and organ gene banks the germplasm collections are basically conserved on the basis of cryo preservation means uh, whatever organ we are going to uh, conserve that is cryo preserved cryo preservation means uh, storage at 196 degree celsius in liquid nitrogen right so there the cell and organ organs are stored so this is known as cell and organ gene bank next is a dna gene bank it is very easy here here dna segments from the genomes of the germplasm accessions are maintained means directly dna segments they may be pure they may be you know phase lysates they may be cosmic clones so any type of dna segments are stored and maintained and uh, in the future these dna segments can easily be used for the production of transgenic crops for genetically modified crops so that is why dna gene banks are beneficial so this was all about the video thanks for watching it and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks a lot